Hey everyone, it's Ricky at uh I'm here. Today we're gonna be looking at the uh 2022 passport. Not a whole lot of changes, but you will find it pretty attractive. If you notice anything different, yeah. I grew some I grew some facial hair. Yeah, I did hit puberty. So you know what? I hope you like this video. Back in 2018 when Honda relaunched the iconic Passport when they had it. This is what you would expect to see. This is what you expect to see. A slick mid-size SUV. Plenty of power out of the, out of the V6. 3.5 liter, 280 horsepower. It's kind of what you would expect to see. But this body style's done great for years, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You get that legendary Honda reliability functionality works very well but at some point things have to change and boy did they check out the new 2022 version of Honda's midsize SUV brand new passport and new for this color and this model year is the Sonic Gray First off, you see the design of the, of the front end has gotten very, uh, more truck-like, which is a good thing. Taking its cues from the uh, Ridgeline, which had an uh, upgrade this pr earlier, this, earlier this year. Again, very, very slick looking truck. Brand new 20 inch wheels. the same size you get there's 20 inch wheels this is the EXL trim level what they Honda did with the pat with this patent year's passport they added a new texture to the steering wheel Gives it that more a little bit more of a rugged feel to the to the truck. What you won't see is uh, a lot of changes between the 21 year model and the 22. But what you will get is how does reliability and their form to function very very simple, very very user friendly. Not a lot of frills, but buttons, bells, or whistles, but it's very functional. Even the most novice of users would be very comfortable in here. A couple of things they did add, again, on the steering wheel, you got the little knurled leather grip there, which is which is real, real nice. Also, the EXL trim level, uh, they did add wireless charging. So you do have that now. And they only and they shortened the trim levels this year as well. Um, before you had several. Now uh, on the 2022 trims, you have the the EXL, which is your entry level, which I'm at now. Then you go to the Trail Sport, then the Elite. Uh, the Trail Sport and the Elite will be all wheel drive. The EXL has the option of being all wheel drive or or just two wheel drive. I think you'll see it added to the to the exterior. They made the back a little bit more sleek. It's a little bit more. Uh, also, rear parking sensors are are new for the EXL in 2022. They also kept the interior pretty much the same. Uh, size is size pretty good. You got a pretty good amount of headroom. Again, I'm six two. I have plenty of headroom back here um, you do have the way the seat will fold forward and again with the EXL trim and all the trims you have the luxury of a power rear lift gate so no one will ever have to worry about dragging down a heavy tailgate again you can lower the seats from the rear here if you have some uh, on both sides. 
So if you have some cargo that you're loading in here that's a little bit big. You have plenty of room to put it. You just car rear tailgate, just hit the button, step away. Nice and easy. Well, this won't be the last 2022 we get, but this is the first one. So you want to come see it? You know where to find me. This is the Find the Sun. Right there. Mizzou Honda in Jacksonville, North Carolina. It's Ricky and Honda signing off.